Right, guys, so now we've got the Cobra Fly Z Pro irons. These are the bladed irons. I've got the five, the seven, and the nine. I'm going to hit all three in this review, in this test, to see how they perform. And I must admit, without hitting a single one, I think I'm in love because they look incredible. Now, I don't, I don't particularly love bladed irons. I don't always see the idea of them. I don't understand, I don't understand the concept sometimes why players play with bladed clubs, apart from looking pretty in your tour bag. But these do look fantastic, and even though they're very bladed at the top edge, at the bottom there's quite a bit of chunk. So, fingers crossed, if I can hit them well, that might be the first blade that I really you know, enjoy hitting. Bit of technology behind it, they've done some research and they found out the better players do move the ball and strike the ball more towards the middle, uh, slash toe, and what's happened then, they've moved the tungsten weight, this is the weight here on the toe, they've, put it, they've only got a weight on the toe, to move the centre of gravity of the golf club from the heel more into the middle, much more into the middle. Uh, I don't know the lofts, I don't think they're going to be as strong as the Fly, Fly Z and the Fly Z Plus irons I've just tested. They're a forged head, completely chrome. Let's give it a hit. So I'm going to go 7 iron first. Uh, they do come with multi compounds as standard, where the other one's more kind of just normal Lampkin cross line grips. So these are multi compound as standard. I've just got this in a S300, stiff flex. See, from the top, it doesn't, it doesn't look as bladed as it does from behind, which is odd. I think they've cleverly made that top edge almost a little bit thicker. Whether on purpose, I'm not sure, because it's not as slim as they could have possibly made it. They could have really stripped that back. There is no offset at all on it, which is great. I feel like I can sit that face open and hit those nice draws. Let's see how it performs. Lovely. Feel off that face. I said it with the Fly Z uh, plus irons as well. It's the feel off the face. I seem to be getting a, a great feedback off there. And I, I can't complain with that shot at all. It's right down the flag, 173 carry. But it's how it, I can't explain that feel. You know, it's the, whether it's the type of forging that they've used on these clubs, on this one and the Fly Z Plus, but the feel off the face is fantastic. But yeah, it's not a scary blade. It's not a scary blade at all. That was thin. It was a little bit off the bottom groove. Let's see how it's performed. Wasn't hit as good as the first one. And almost identical. Even better. It's even straighter. The only factor I can say is how that ball still travelled that distance. It's because at the bottom edge here, there's quite a big weight. It's right behind the bottom two or three grooves. There's quite a big weight. Now, that helps with launch angle, yes, but also off bot bottomed hits like I've just done there, it's still performing strongly, very strong. Let's hit one more with the seven. Again, bottom groove. Let's see how that's gone. That wasn't, again, wasn't quite as hit as amazing. Yeah, I've lost a couple of yardages on there, but it's the risk you're going to take if you go bladed. It is the risk you're going to take if you don't quite catch it amazing, you are going to get slightly punished. Uh, let's go one more, because I don't feel like I've given that last one quite the, the best, the best I could do there. Let's get one more. That's better. That's better. Look at those flights though. Four or five phenomenal iron shapes. High, for me, nice draws, because I can sit that face a little bit open, because it's got no offset. I feel like I'm confident that the ball will shape back, but not turn too much. Very good numbers, 170 average carry. And that third one wasn't amazing, wasn't the best shot I've hit. Let's move up to the fives next, because again, as a, as a golfer who's looking into bladed clubs, as soon as you start to go into longer irons, that's when you're going to get really punished. Um, now there is, there is a little bit more from the back edge, a little bit of a cavity, but I'm talking the slight, it's almost like a trimming around the edge. Uh, still got the tungsten weight in the toe to help bring that centre of gravity towards the middle. I must admit, I, I do strike most irons out the toe. So that, for me, is going to bring my centre of the club much more towards the middle. Still got the forged head. Let's see how it performs with the five. So I, my predictions would be kind of somewhere on the 190 mark, maybe 195. It does look good from the top. I just love the fact that I can actually sit, purposely sit the face open without fear that it's going to move ridiculously to the left because of the offset. Mm -hmm. 
That was toe in. That was hit from the toe and it shows. And it really shows. <laughs> Off centered hits with long irons, certainly bladed. That's when you get start to get punished. But you, if you're good enough player to play with blades, something you need to expect. Now there might be the question whether you go, okay, well, I like the bladed short irons. I might, I might throw in then the Fly Z Plus longer irons. Certainly could be an option. Because you saw me hit the Fly Z Plus irons, the five iron. It's absolutely killing that. Yeah, it's just as you start to get into the longer stuff, the blade starts to highlight, starts to punish you. I'm saying punish you, I've just carried that. 196. <laughs> so it's not, it's not horrendously punishing. Well, that first one was really bad, but it's not really, really punishing when you catch it like that. Let's, get, let's go one more. I think, I think for myself, I'd probably go more plus, fly Z plus in the longer and go blader from the shorter irons. I'm just not, I'm not getting the dispersion, not getting quite the strike on the face with the longer iron, but that's what you expect with blades. You know, if you're a golfer who can hit a three iron blade, you're a good golfer, so you won't need to worry about getting a bit more forgiveness. As an unpracticed seasoned pro, you might want a little bit more forgiveness in the longer irons. But then when you hit them, that's when you know. That's when you think, oh, you know what, I probably could hit blades. <laughs> All these questions start flying through your head. So let's go 9-9. Nine, nine. Good, good performance on well, good hit shots. Bad performance on bad hit shots, but you, you come to expect that with a bladed iron. The 9. Now, this, this lower end of the club is where I start to really fall in love with this iron because it just looks so incredibly sleek. Um, it's got the kind of V of that weight in the back, so it goes not only protecting the first two or three blades at the bottom, uh, grooves at the bottom, but as you go more towards the middle, that, that weight goes further up in the face, so off-centered off hits, higher up on the face is where you're going to get lots of forgiveness. Still got the weight in the toe, and it looks delicious. It looks, it looks like a wedge, if I just picked up just a normal pitching wedge there, as in like a specialized wedge. This is what this 99 looks like because of its slim lines, because of its very bladed appeal. Yeah, it feels great. Feels great. I'm not expecting any distance, any massive distance. It's not what this club's designed for. It's for feel, it's for looks, it's for the golfer who loves a blade in the bag because they love a blade in the bag. Yeah, I definitely love them. So I think for myself, I would probably go more Fly Z plus in the longer irons, but then certainly the pros in the shorter irons coming down. So you've got, you know, hopefully you can get that mixture. I'm still might be saying all this and Cobra might say, no, you can only get this set. I think you can get that mixture. Let us know what you think about this, this club. Let us know what you think about the Cobra range of irons. I'm going to get Rob testing the Fly Z Plus, so you can check those out as well. I don't think he needs the Pro ones, we won't, we'll, we'll, we'll protect him from that. Then I've got the Three Woods and the Hybrids to test. We'll get onto that as well, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, please do subscribe if you've not already. Comment down below, let me know what you think about the Cobra Irons. I'm impressed with them. Like, tell us what you think, and we shall see you next time. I'm just going to hit one more with that 5-iron. I feel like I can master that 5-iron. Come on. Let's get one more good strike. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon.